Would you like to win weekly gift cards to be able to purchase V-Bucks inside of Fortnite? Then be a subscriber to the channel, hit the bell icon to get notifications of our new uploads, and show your support by leaving a thumbs up on this video and a comment down below in the comment section. We'll pick random comments every single week. Thank you all so much for entering and enjoy the video. Fortniters, privileged ones, hello and welcome back to the channel for another Fortnite Battle Royale episode. Now, right now, if I told you that I knew the theme for the new Season 5 coming out very soon, would you all believe me? Absolutely not. That's why I've got some intel from FortniteIntel.com and some intel from other people in the community with information that they've gathered, and I'm combining it all together in this video and going to conclude what the season five theme is going to be based on what we already know and what we've already gathered. Based on information that was given to us from Fortnite directly, the game's code, and what's been happening with all of the rifts spanning over Fortnite Battle Royale's map. On top of that, with all of these rifts, there are a couple of glitches I'm gonna go over as well that is going to carry in to the speculation as to what Season 5's map is going to entail. Let's begin the video. So, before jumping on this huge roller coaster ride, I want to first to announce that we have a lot of information to go over, and I want to start off with the facts. The things that are currently in the game that we can physically look at and we can bear witness to, changes that are in the map, or otherwise events that were previously recorded on video prior to what is going on now in the game. I want to start off with the rocket ship event. I want to go over this event again, even though a lot of players out there know about what happened, I want to really break down everything for you. So the rocket event prior to that, Epic Games announced that a special event was going to occur on a specific time on a specific day. Every single TV screen in the game had a specific timer on it and at the rocket ship location launch site, there were sirens going off at a certain point in time. The sirens continued to go off, and when the timer on the TV screens hit zero, the rocket ship launched into the sky and created a huge event that player base was able to witness if they were in the game. So what happened was the rocket ship launched into the sky, the tail separated from the rocket ship and flew down and hit Anarchy Acres. From there, the rocket flew above the motel, then towards Tilted, and we all thought Tilted was going to get destroyed. From there, Tilted didn't get destroyed because a rift opened up porting the rocket ship, which then flew towards Moisty Mire, all the way around the map to the soccer field that is past Tilted, and then ported again, appearing above Loot Lake, where it flew into the sky and opened up a huge rift in the sky, which we can see now inside of Fortnite Battle Royale. So I hope you all are now ready because that's not the weird part. The rocket ship event was actually kind of normal compared to what's happening now over the last eight days. So day number one after the rocket ship event and the huge rift forming in the sky, a smaller rift formed at Lonely Lodge. Then in day two, Lonely Lodge's sign disappeared and another rift also formed at the motel. Then day three, Tomato Town's rift forms and the motel sign is then removed. Then day four, Retail Row, Nam sign gets a rift and the tomato head also disappeared. Via all the footage that you're witnessing right now is proof that it's in the game and some weird things are happening, but it still gets weirder. So after the tomato head disappears and the nom sign rift forms, the rift forms at the Durburger in Greasy Grove and the nom sign is now destroyed as well. Rifts form next to a mountain and then the Durburger is destroyed or disappeared. And then seven, the mountain rift is replaced with an anchor. That's right. The rift is now gone next to the mountain, but there is an anchor in place of where it originally was while a new portal also ended up forming at moisty mire then most recently moisty mire's rift was replaced with a wild old wild wild west 
wagon. It's a wooden wagon, a kind of horse carriage, and it's there in the game. You can bear witness to it right now in this footage, and it got really weird. Alongside that, I've got a video clip really quick that you can take a look at, witnessing the Greasy Grove Durburger actually disappearing. So enjoy the footage. From there, finally, over the course of the last eight days, the rift in the sky has been getting larger. As you can see via the video footage, it's a lot larger than the rift that you've seen at the beginning of this video. So that is also a really large part in what we're gonna talk about at the end of this video in theories and speculations as to what's happening in season five's map theme. Now, that's not where everything gets weird. It's actually going to get even weirder. So I hope you all are ready. So I previously mentioned that the Dirt Burger at Greasy Grove disappeared in a portal or a rift. And it wasn't destroyed. It actually did disappear in port somewhere else. Actually, that location is known as California's Desert because Epic Games started using ARG augmented reality gaming inside of Fortnite Battle Royale and inside of California's actual desert, there is a location, there is an address, and the address is down below in the description. There is a Dur Burger, and actually at the setup, there is also a couple of other things we can bear witness to. There are also a male and a female agent here handing out cards to people, and they are announcing themselves as agent number 36. 7, 8, which is the male agent, and number 3742, which is the female agent. These two people will hand you a card, and the card is on the screen now, and there's a phone number associated with the card on the back, and both cards have the same phone number. The phone number, if you want to dial it now, is 712-380-4091. That's 712-380-4091. And I'm actually gonna call that number now, and then we're gonna talk about the speculation behind this number and what this means for Fortnite Battle Royale. So we're gonna make the phone call right now via my recent dials, and here we go. Now, the number itself is from Estherville. Now let's listen to it. And there we have it. So that is the noise. Now there was a Redditor that then decoded this noise. The sound has slightly changed from the first day to the second day. And this noise was going to be decoded into a series of binary and also different forms of numbers. Really, it's just an immense way of decoding sound waves. So the sound waves were broken down into the following numbers, which is 0670001111, which when decoded using the ASC2 and binary results in the following, 067 equals C, and 000111 in binary equals seven. So we then have C7 on the Fortnite map. C7 on the Fortnite map is where Greasy Grove is located, and we now get into our first speculation. One of the major changes in Season 5's map is going to be Greasy Grove. I'm going to get into the following changes and speculations as to what these changes could possibly be momentarily, but we can also verify that following Greasy Grove having the Dur Burger disappear and the audio matching up to C7 on the map, we can also speculate that major changes are going to be happening possibly at the motel, Moisty Mire, Lonely Lodge, the mountain, and also several other locations that have been forming rifts. Alongside that though, 
there is the giant rift in the sky, which we haven't gone over yet. So let's delve in to even more stuff on Fortnite Battle Royale. So, along with the Der Burger being found in augmented reality gaming inside of a California desert, there was also tracks following and subsiding from that Der Burger. Now, I did mention before that a rift did pop out an anchor next to a mountain, and then at Moisty Mire, there was a wagon or a horse buggy. Now, that old Wild Wild West wagon and that anchor are two items being added into the game. And alongside this, if you data mine some files from Fortnite Battle Royale on PC, you will find that there are some files mentioning multiple items. All of which, the items that were mentioned were removed from the game, and there were three items that we've never seen before. Ding ding, winner winner, guess what? Two of those items were, one, the anchor, and two, the wagon. There is one more item that has not been added into Fortnite just yet, but that is a desert skeleton. So there's one more item that does need to be added into the game. And I kind of speculate this might be at Lonely Lodge. I'm just going to throw it out there. Most likely, it's going to be at Lonely Lodge because the Der Burger is changing immensely and we have some speculation towards c7 getting a huge change we've got an anchor at the mountain and then we've got moisty mire already getting a new item so i do speculate that the next place that's going to get a new item is probably going to be the other named location which is lonely lodge now that's only speculation i'm not sure exactly where this skeleton is going to pop out but just know that there is going to be a desert skeleton added into the map of fortnite battle royale you all probably thought I was done, but I am far from done. Now we're going to get into some glitches. So, at prior of the rocket ship event, there was actually a formation of the rocket's thrusters formed at Anarchy Acres prior to the actual rocket thrusters landing at Anarchy. So you could actually see a vague formation of the thrusters being formed at Anarchy prior to the rocket ship ever launching. With that being said, we do know these glitches do happen from time to time, but it is showing and speculating some prior events to proceed in Fortnite Battle Royale. One of these glitches actually happened recently today, and that is the formation of sand all throughout the Fortnite map. There was a player inside of Fortnite Battle Royale that was playing the game, and they actually came across the fact that there was a bunch of sand located throughout the map. Now, there are images on the screen showing actual in-game footage, and these images were taken from a specific player that took screenshots, and these screenshots did showcase a glitch. I'm not sure if it was just a glitch changing the textures of the game, or if it was actually proceeding a shadowing and a foreshadowing of events that were going to occur inside of Fortnite. Now, this general location is in fact a below the huge rift in the sky so i do feel like there is a possibility and this is where we're getting into speculation now the huge rift in the sky is going to open up and dump a bunch of sand on the map in random locations alongside this at specific named locations like moisty mire greasy grove lonely lodge and also some other unnamed locations like the motel or the mountain there are going to be items added into the game I do speculate uh, one of three different themes here. One of which is going to be an old Wild Wild West theme and a desert vibe. But then again, I also feel like it's going to be pirates and cowboys. Why I'm saying pirates and cowboys is that is a really generic theme that has been used in previous games and different genres, movies, and books. And Pirates and Cowboys or Cowboys and Indians, that is kind of a really cool and generalized topic in most things, and it's a really easy concept to pull off. And I feel like Epic Games is going in the realm of the Wild Wild West Cowboys theme, but with the anchor forming next to the mountain, I also feel like they're going to be throwing in a pirate vibe. That also goes along with Pirates and Cowboys, Sand, is a big thing, a big part of 
pirates and cowboys sand deserts or beaches so that's also another thing now next to loot lake there could probably be a pirate ship that forms maybe in a general idea of the map changing there might be some more water formation and also throughout the other portions of the map there's going to be a desert theme that is my speculation i hope you all enjoyed this video we've taken all the information so far in the map changes and we've actually come up with a really solid theory as to what's happening so right now i'm speculating that season five map is going to be themed on cowboys and pirates there you have it guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section share this video with your friends and let me know all of your guys's ideas down below as well as always if you enjoyed the video content make sure you subscribe to the channel for future content on fortnite or any other games i play hit that notification bell to get notified when i upload a new video or i go live on live stream and to every single one of you privileged ones out there stay violent be privileged oh hi DBG isn't here right now, but I guess you enjoyed the content. So over there is the logo you can click on. That will allow you to subscribe. More content up there. And behind the scenes daily content over here on the vlog channel. There you go. Enjoy.